So goofing around with this thing, the uh, Cushman CE50A, this is the uh, built-in <clears throat> spectrum analyzer. Um, right now I have it set to one and a half megahertz, and I have a kind of a crappy RF, not RF, but just a regular signal generator with a little piece of wire and the output plug. And um, as you can see, the little blip kind of showed up to the left there, and of course there's harmonics and everything else. This thing's kind of junky, but... Um, but basically it's actually pretty accurate because it's two divisions to the left and um, basically I guess it's a hundred kilohertz per division and sure enough since I'm on one and a half megahertz down here you can't really tell but um, which would be one and a half megahertz is in the center two divisions down and it's actually at I don't know if I could get this in the camera or not I'm actually just about 1300 kilohertz or 1.3 megahertz so this thing is actually freaking accurate and if I kind of put my finger on the wire I think I can get a little bit bigger blip here Maybe even bring it closer but uh so you can kind of see that blip jumping up and down that's the uh, the RF signal generator I don't know what the other stuff is could be even internal stuff since I don't have any of the sides in this thing um, in addition, I'm just literally using a tiny little piece of solder as an antenna, not much. And then um, if I uh, adjust the frequency range a little bit, you can actually see it moving back and forth. And so if I go up to here, that should be 1.6 megahertz. Yep. So again, I don't know, well, it is like right on the division when I look straight at it. And sure enough, right now, I'm at 1.6 megahertz. And you can clearly see it there. So this thing is pretty freaking accurate. Not bad for probably a 20 or 30 year old piece of junk that uh, has been sitting on a shelf for years in my ownership. And for whatever reason, just recently had an interest in radio stuff. So um, basically put about at least 30 or 40 capacitors in this thing. All the electrolytics were leaking bad. Some of them were downright failed wide open and um, came back to life. So I'm really happy that this thing's uh, working. Still has a little bit more work to do. I'm still going to do a lot more caps in it at some point. But I'm really happy that this thing is... Uh, functional and that uh, seems to be working good. <laughs> In addition, if I turn this down, the uh, amplitude, you should see it kind of die down. So I turn it off. And there's a little blip turning it off. Turn it back up. So yeah, this thing is working. Very happy.